Welcome to Service Star China here. This is Sarah. So today in this video, we're going to talk about the DTF transfer film. There are roughly two types of DTF film on the market. One is hot pure film, and the other one is cold pure film. What the cold pure film is? After heat pressing, you need to set the shoot aside and wait the temperature cool down and then peel the backing. While the hot peel film is, as soon as the heat press lift up, you can peel the backing at that moment. So, these two types of the DTF transfer film, there are some differences in composition, pressing temperature, cooling time, and the fabric selection. In order to achieve the effect of quick peel, the main component of the hot pure film release layer is wax. Wax is not easy to melt and it's not easy to apply evening. So the requirements for the coating process are relatively higher. For the cold pure film, the release layer is dominated by the chemical component silicon. Silicon is more stable than wax, which is easy to apply to the film. Therefore, the cold peel film on the market is more stable than the hot peel film. In terms of temperature and time, hot peel usually required pressing temperature is generally between 114 to 116 Celsius and uh, 5 to 15 seconds. Cold peel usually required pressing temperature is higher than hot peel film, generally at 115 to 117 Celsius. 10 to 20 seconds, which need to be determined according to the specific situation. In terms of the waiting time from pressing to peeling, the hot peel film has an absolute advantage. The hot peel film can be taught in 2 to 3 seconds, while the cold peel film takes about 13 seconds to 1 minute. In terms of fabric material, some special fabrics such as toplings coated fabrics and other fabrics are very thin and the coating is a gel-like material so only cold peeling film can be used so that it has enough time to restore properties adhesing and flatness after heating press hot peeling is easy to wrinkle and warp causing material scrap other rough textured fabrics such as canvas and flannel are also suitable for cold peeling. Hot peeling is more suitable for larger patterns, such as the front chest and back, while the cold peeling is suitable for thinner knives, such as the back collar and letters. Using a cold peel film is also great if you are working as a team. One person can focus on heating pressing while the other person can focus on let the film cool down, finally peel it and uh, preparing it for the legs pressing. So cold peel is also great for a big project. We have to use a heat press and uh, wait till it all completely cool down before we peel it. All in all, hot painting is more depending on the printing conditions. If you are print on a constant temperature, you will get a best result. And if you have a large job, hot peeling will save your labor cost. Because you just need to focus on pressing and peel the backing right away with no lab time. And if need, we can make 100 t-shirt with one hour. So it is the best way and the simplest. And uh, this is impossible to achieve with cold pure filling and any other printing method. So later, we will do some sample tests to show you this different type of printing material. So let's do a hot pure and uh, cold pure transfer test. So, generally speaking, you can choose the transfer material according to your demands. Whether you choose hot peeling or cold peeling, 
The most important point to be aware of, which are temperature, time, and pressure. Any other questions? Just comment below, and don't forget to give us a quick thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest video we post every single week. Thanks for watching.